What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Call of Duty World War II in 2024. Please forgive me if I sound dead inside. It's because I actually am. I'm a bit hungover. I just woke up. I just made my morning coffee. But I still want to make this video because you guys really like this series that I do where I visit old Call of Duty games, replay them for you guys, and determine whether or not they're worth playing in whatever year I'm living in. I also haven't made a World War II video in like two years, so the revisit is long overdue. It's also Sunday, it should be peak hours, so let's get right into it. So first off, I want to try Team Deathmatch. I know I try to stay away from this, but for the older Call of Duty titles, I try to play it at least once because if we don't have a Team Deathmatch lobby, we have a problem. But if we have a Team Deathmatch lobby, then I can move on to other game modes. So let's just check this out first. All right, we got a match and it looks like we're about to join in progress. So hopefully we're not too far into the lobby. What is this, bro? Uh, did my game break? I'm not playing, this is spectating. Uh, standard issue? Is the game just not loading? Oh, there we go. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I forget that my Xbox One is on the hard drive, not an SSD. It looks like we have a full lobby, so that's a really good sign. And we got into the match fairly quickly, aside from the hard drive thing going on. But it does look like the game is populated, so after this, I'll play something that isn't Team Deathmatch. And yes, to clarify, this is on Xbox One, this isn't a next-gen console, this isn't PlayStation, this isn't PC, this is on Xbox. Wow, that did not last long. That's what she said! Well, at least we know Team Deathmatch is working properly, so let's move on to something else. And hopefully we get into something else, because I don't want a game that's just Team Deathmatch 24-7. This looks promising. Domination, Hardpoint, and I assume that's Kill Confirmed. So hopefully we get, yeah, kill confirmed. So hopefully we get something here. Literally two seconds. That's all it took, two seconds. I feel like this was the one game that was received, you know, 50-50 because people liked the fact that this went back to boots on the ground. It was classic World War II stuff, but at the same time, there were a lot of weird changes with this game and a lot of unnecessary features that were added. Like I'll show you when it happens, but in certain times, the screen will just shake crazily. And it's like, why? I can barely see what's going on in the game. They also add motion blur. The game, for some reason, it just looks really blurry. And this isn't a console issue. This was made for the Xbox One and PS4. It shouldn't have this bad of an issue. But for some reason, it's just really hard to see in this game. And I think that's game. There we go. These games are going by quick, but at the same time, I'm joining late in progress, so I guess that's my bad. Let me just stick around for the next lobby, just so I have an actual ongoing match. Look at all these people with their fancy skins, and all I got is Optic Gaming. By the looks of it, this game mode, this playlist, whatever you want to call it, is very populated, so you can play objective game modes without worrying about population, at least on Xbox. But I'm also pretty sure that most people play on PlayStation anyways, so if it's playable here, it should also be playable on PlayStation. I do remember the hype this game got, uh, mainly because, not because people were actually excited about the game, but because People were just tired of the jetpacks, the futuristic stuff with Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and Infinite Warfare. And this game basically went back to basics. Boots on the ground, World War II, basically what Call of Duty was founded on. But at the same time, when this game did release, a lot of people didn't like it. Well, they didn't like the mechanics of the game. I think everyone can agree that this was a breath of fresh air for the franchise, but I guess gameplay-wise, people just didn't like it. Which, I don't know, I, I do enjoy it, but I could definitely see how people wouldn't like it. It is a bit slower, it's a little more sluggish compared to most Call of Duty titles. I also haven't tried Zombies yet. Uh, I, I heard a lot of people like the environment of the game, but not the actual experience. I do remember the, the first leaked trailer of Zombies. It was like a horror movie, like I was actually scared watching the trailer and i was like holy shit this thing is gonna be scary and i do think it ended up being like a really scary version of zombies 
but I don't think people actually liked the gameplay. And that seems to be a common trend with this game. People like the aesthetics, the looks, and the environment, but the gameplay was what was controversial with the game. The only thing I haven't heard much about is the campaign. Uh, some people liked it, some people didn't like it. Maybe I'll take a shot at it. I did see the first 10 minutes with like D-Day and stuff, and that looked intense. Also, I really like these skins, these eSports skins. I really hope, even though there are rumors that the Call of Duty League is going to end, I do hope we still get support for the Pro League. Why isn't my gun moving? There we go. I still hope we get some kind of support for the Pro League. Like what's going on here. Uh, we have an Optic Gaming skin, an Evil Geniuses skin. Uh, it, it wasn't franchised at the time. And you still could support it. You still could make money off of the brands themselves. You don't need franchising to have a good support system. It does help with stability for the players. But when it comes to actually getting new blood, that's when it starts becoming an issue. But nothing will top the Black Ops 3 esports skins. Those just hit differently. And speaking of esports, I still remember the attach play that got him esports player of the year where he clutched up against optic gaming it was a 1v3 i believe he ran through his own artillery like a badass and he still won the whole match and that was just insane oh it's gonna go down to the wire someone could jump onto it no before we go on i want to show off the headquarters and for those that don't know what the headquarters is it's basically a little social area where you could hang with your friends play 1v1s open loot boxes play in target practice test some weapons if you want to test some score streaks it was a really cool concept at the time look at this i have not been here in a while on pc there was only like one other person aside from myself but here, there are still people chilling out. Wow, you can see people open loot boxes. I am so glad the newer games have the gun range again because it is nice just to be able to test your guns before you go into a match. Am I that bad at aiming? My God. Remember paint jobs? Let's see what people have. Deadpool. I just watched Deadpool, by the way, for the first time. I loved it. It was so good. What in the world am I watching? <laughs> What is this? What is happening? Is that my wife? God, I need a girlfriend. The reason why I'm here is because of this. The World League. Remember this, guys? Before franchising? In my opinion, these are the only things worth buying in any video game, alright? Because these have meaning, they look cool, and they aren't completely expensive i mean 500 cod points that's like five bucks that, that ain't bad yeah on pc this is pretty much empty i'm pretty sure i was on this just because i was the only one playing you're n oh i was gonna say you're not him but he literally is him he's on top of the scoreboard you are him bro all right before we end this video off i do want to try one more thing and that is horde point this came back recently oh my god i don't even have to try i just get into a lobby but uh, it came back in Modern Warfare 3, and I have yet to try it, but I do remember playing it in this game, and I absolutely loved it. For those that don't know what Horde Point is, it's basically Hardpoint with zombies, and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. <gasps> I hear them. There they are. Oh my god. that scream though <laughs> the design of these zombies are terrifying i will say that oh oh my ah! you gotta like pick up things just to survive ah! i just gotta keep running oh no oh that's it <laughs> since the game is so blurry i can't tell the difference between a zombie and an actual person but that's kind of what makes this game mode fun I just hit my teammate and my tank my frame rate is tanking dude this is so intense oh my god what is this it's a slideshow oh it was still fun the old xbox consoles were clearly not prepared for this mode because it was just a slideshow for like half the game i'm surprised that this has more players than black ops 4 because black ops 4 not even hardpoint was populated i mean domination was but it was like 
Team Deathmatch and only Domination. This one, you could play Hard Point, Horde Point, Domination, Kill Confirm, Team Deathmatch, Shipment, whatever you want, you can play it, which is great. But that is going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on World War II? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll talk to you all later.